Georgie's Story, a short film about a young person's volunteering experiences in Derby. <laughs> I started volunteering in the forum back in 2010 with this group Sarret and I'm also now um, doing uh, events with Disabilities Sarret and talks at schools for young people um, who are disabled and their carers and parents um, and I'm also supporting um, somebody who I know on an um, independent life skills course. So the STUFF project at Disability Direct is the Young People's Project. So the project itself is all about building young people's confidence, independence and social inclusion. And I work specifically with 16 to 25 year olds, young disabled people. And that's all across Derby and Derbyshire. Okay, so Georgie came to me um, a couple of years ago and um, she wanted to get involved with a few things. So as part of the project, what I do is go out and chat to young people, find out what kind of things they want to get involved with, what kind of interests and hobbies they've got, and then look at what opportunities are available locally for them to take part in. She comes and supports me to do talks and presentations when we share the news about the project, um, places like the colleges, university and schools. Um, we do a lot of information stands at um, events that are taking place locally. And everywhere that we go, she talks about her experiences of how she benefited from the project. I think what keeps me involved is um, <clears throat> being able to get more confident doing it and um, liking what I'm doing. Like, I, you know, when I get up in the morning, I enjoy thinking, oh, I'm going out today and doing these events or doing these talks or supporting, you know, people. And rather than, rather than dreading it, I'm really looking forward to it. And then because I get the confidence and I also get um, to meet new, new people like me and get to hear their experiences as well and how much we are actually helping people and making a difference. I feel very confident in being able to talk to Naomi about anything that, that I need, like any reasonable adjustments or anything for Candy, my guide dog down here and Candy's really happy with it as well. So. <laughs> I'm involved in the Volunteers with Extra Needs Network, which is fantastic because it gives other volunteering involved um, organisations the opportunity to learn from each other. So perhaps some of those who haven't had any experience um, and perhaps just lack the awareness have the opportunity to find out from other organisations who either work with disabled um, clients or who have disabled volunteers supporting their projects. So that that really helps in terms of information sharing and perhaps taking away some of the misconceptions and some of the fears that people have. Um, I nominated Georgie for the Shining Stars Award this year. Um, I really do believe that the project wouldn't be where it is or be the same as it is without her because the impact that she has um, makes such a difference. When we, particularly when we give a presentation, I can talk about the project as a project worker, I can talk about the benefit it has to young people, but it doesn't mean as much as when you hear it from somebody who's actually been there and experienced it themselves. I couldn't do what I do without people like Georgie um, because she makes the project real. <laughs> For more information about the STUFF project, contact Naomi Hope at Disability Direct on 01332 404040. For more information about volunteering in Derby, contact the Volunteer Centre on 01332 342 272.